Hello, my Cancerians! This reading will be for the month of June of 2023. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> and if you don't see the video posted today that has the other zodiac signs that you want to check out for the other parts of your chart, those will be coming along in the next few days. I'm doing a series of the videos by the individual sign. Over the next couple of days, uh, beginning of June. So if you don't see the video yet, um, just hang tight. It'll be posted in the next few days or so. Alright, what do we have for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June? June of 2023. So right out of the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Wands and the Upright. Ooh, some of you are really coming into your power. That's, you know, creative force, passion, energy. There's a lot of new beginnings for you, and you're really, you know, you're becoming a lot more confident, I see. Which is not always easy for Cancer people to do. Um, because Cancers are water signs. You know, uh, a lot of you are a little bit more gentle by nature, and it doesn't mean that you have low self-esteem. You're just not really, um, <clears throat> you're kind of, cancers are usually a lot more chill most of the time, and it depends on what else you have in the rest of your chart. So in your recent past energy, it looks like we've got the hanged man in reverse, so there's a situation going on and some of you just don't want to see it from another point of view right now. You're just, you're done. You're like, nope, this is how it is. Nobody can tell you anything right now. And with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, I feel like you maybe have lost your motivation in the past due to butting heads with somebody from not seeing things from the same- being able to get on the same page with them. You decided to give up, you lo lost motivation with this connection. They just wouldn't pull their head out of their ass, pretty much. And in their energy, we've got the Four of Wands in the reverse. So I think that you closed the door on this connection. Could be a business connection, could be a romantic situation. What do we have in the current energy? Right now in the present for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So with that moon card in the reverse, I feel like this person that irritated you was being very deceptive. Um, it could be one of those situations where I, something about children's been coming up in the energy today. Uh, maybe there's a child uh, that you're concerned about and you feel that because you're not their parent. There's like maybe a kid is not being treated the way that they deserve but you feel helpless because there's nothing that you can do about it because you're not their parent and maybe you tried to talk to the family of the kid somehow and didn't really get anywhere with it or maybe you felt like it wasn't your place so you've kept it to yourself and yeah with that emperor empress in the upright that is the ultimate mothering card. This is the card of nurturing. This is the card of growth, new beginnings, and, you know, being protective of children. Um, it could be somebody close to you is pregnant, and maybe you're concerned for what's going to happen with the baby, with whatever situation's going on. If this isn't making any sense and not resonating, don't even worry about it. It's not your reading. Um, you could also be dealing with the Taurus. The Empress uh, does also deal with Taurus energy. And with the World card in the upright, so this talks about a karmic cycle. Um, with your situation, with what it looks like, I think that you were meant to be in this person's life or meant to be important to this child, and you are meant to be there um, as some type of influence in this kiddo's life. 
I don't know if that's making any sense, but that's what I'm getting in the future energy. Ooh, with the hermit in the reverse, you are saying F it and coming out of hiding. And you are making your presence very well known. Uh, so we've got a tower moment. So I think that the truth is going to come out. It's all going to get set on the table. Um, this is one of those situations where the breakdown happens before the breakthrough. That's what the tower card is all about. The crumbling down of a current situation. I'm not going to lie. Everything, not, if it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. You know, but something's got to give. Something's going to bust out of this everything's gonna go to crap in order for the new beginning to happen i think what it's trying to tell you is if everything goes to crap it's saying hang on tight things are gonna be okay it's what's necessary to happen in order for the new chapter to begin and with that yeah oh yep you said it with that seven of pentacles that talks all about um a pat on the back for a job well done so whatever it is that happens, it's telling you that you're on the right path. You're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. If not the fruits of your labor, you're going to feel uh, like confirmed in your decision that you made the right choice. Um, talking about, you know, congratulating you on a job well done. So, what future actions is going to happen with this situation for my Cancers? Yeah, I don't know if this, if this is a love situation for you or not. I'm just getting uh, vibes about a, a situation with a child. And I just heard a tree frog in the distance. Um, and those have to deal all with cleansing and transformation. That could mean something for you. Look up the totem of, about the spiritual meaning of tree frogs and that might resonate for you. Ooh, so we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So whoever these people are, this person that you're dealing with is going to be emotionally immature. And it's also telling you that, yes, you're on the right path, but if you are questioning whether you should act now or wait a minute, it's telling you, go ahead and wait a minute to kind of strategize. It's telling you, don't go just yet with whatever it is that you are going to do that has to do with an emotional situation. Don't go jumping in just right yet. Just wait a little bit before you make a move. Um... You know, it's saying maybe this is the right move, but you need to take a little bit of time to strategize and really, you know, be mindful of how you're going to go about it. And so we've got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and that's talking all about having a tough time between two choices. You know, you're indecisive about this because it's a big deal, you know. Um, it also talks about burnout and having a lot on your plate. I think with having this situation on your mind, it's just, like, overwhelmed you where it's hard to think about anything else. And then we've got the Two of Swords. That's another card about being at a standstill, being at a crossroads, having a tough time making a decision. What's the outcome for this situation for my Cancers? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So the Aces talk all about new beginnings. And when you're dealing with the Pentacles, I wonder maybe there's a... Maybe you weren't able to 
put the cherry on top with the situation due to not having the funds or the resources. This is talking about new beginnings with your finances, possibly with your health also. Um, finance is a job situation um, where you will you know, be better equipped to do what you need to do to right this situation. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Let's see what else we have for the outcome here. And the Nine of Pentacles, that talks about financial independence. And then we've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, yep, this person is, um... I don't think that it's the right time to communicate with this person just yet. I would give it a minute and, like get a strategy together, you know, like maybe you need to sit on this for a little bit as to uh, think about the how you're gonna go forward with this. Alright, let me get a few more cards. I feel like there needs to be a couple of more cards here, and I'm sh reshuffling all of them so that if, <laughs> if the same ones pop up again, it'll just be more verification. King of Cups, along with the Page of Swords in the reverse, so I think this is more verification that you are represented by the King of Cups. That is someone who is emotionally mature, someone who's better equipped to handle this situation that deals with emotions. And I feel like this person that's trying to compete with you or somebody who you're trying to expose the truth on. They are the Page of Swords. That's the card of the Stalker energy. So they're like quietly trying to dig up information on you. They're stalking your social media, yet they're not talking about it. So I feel like they're trying to dig up things out of nowhere to have a defense when they don't because the truth speaks for itself. As long as you stay in your truth, I think that everything will work out just fine. I know you're really uneasy about this right now, but the... You you know, spirit is trying to let you know you're on the right path and things will work out in your favor. All right, my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, that'll be it for your reading. Um, I hope you stay strong and stick to your guns with whatever this is that you're dealing with. Well, thank you and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for watching.